Hello guys, welcome to my very first hot lap video with commentating here in Azerbaijan in the streets of Baku. You need to try and get the best possible exit out of the final corner to get the most out of the long long straight you can find here in Baku. I actually did uh, the lap twice, uh, the exact uh, same lap time I did twice, uh, but I'm showing you this lap because the setup is way better. At the straight you can get like up to 300 50 kilometers nearly before you break into the, for the first turn you go into the third gear you take half the curb on the inside and then all the curb on the outside now the second turn you break into second gear just to get a little bit more rotation now you need to uh, try to get, uh, get the best possible acceleration uh, for the long back straight open the ADRS and now uh, breaking again down into the second gear for the extra rotation and now for the fourth turn same uh, again second gear as you can see we are just about even with our fastest lap now breaking into third uh, gear and as you can see right now I actually had a bad exit there and I lost like two tens was quite frustrating uh, now the tricky part of the track is the first gear I actually touched the wall there a little bit and now the castle section you need to drive at full risk otherwise you are just losing too much time now again accelerate for the uh, another straight, go up to 8th gear, try to stay close to the wall. Now 3rd gear, uh, clip the curb on the inside and I actually gained 1.5 tenths only in this turn so it was very good. And now the last turn really um, again try to get the best possible exit because of the long long straight uh, which is coming now. Uh, yeah, it's, it's probably the best exit you need there because you can lose or win so much time on the straight. And we are actually losing time now a little bit because we are driving with a uh, little bit more downforce and coming across the line. Drive a 1 minute 36.090. Yeah, so overall I think my lap was quite good. But I think I could have done uh, a at least 1 minute 35.7 with a perfect lap. Uh, for example, I had like one point where I lost two tenths. That was quite costly. Yeah, but now coming uh, to the setup, we are driving with 1.5 wings. It gives us a little bit more downforce and it is also very stable. I was actually driving with 1.4 uh, wings before, but overall 1.5 is uh, just way quicker and it felt way more stable. So now the transmission, we are driving with 75% and 100%. Uh, and yeah, I personally feel very comfortable with this. Uh, I'm using something like this, like overall, most of my tracks. So um, yeah. So the suspension geometry is something I would definitely recommend to drive it everywhere. Um, it is not only the fastest, uh, and it also feels very, very good. The suspension is only made for the straight line speed. I definitely wouldn't drive it everywhere because it would be yeah, just too unstable. And even in Baku, you could have some, uh, you could have some problems with you driving with a full tank and it might be a couple of um, spins and something like that if you don't look out. Um, so the brakes, um, driving with ABS on, uh, that's why I'm driving with 100% brake pressure. Otherwise I would drive with 89% and the front brake uh, bias is 53% but that's something I would drive everywhere. Doesn't matter if you have ABS on or off. So now the second last thing, the tires, I drive with 23.8 and 21.1. It is actually the same that I'm using like nearly everywhere. Uh, just fits again very good, very smooth. It's very good to handle. Uh, so yeah. And the last thing, the weight distribution, uh, the ballast, I drive with 9. Normally I would drive with 8, but actually I found out that in Baku it uh, 9 is actually way more quick. Normally you drive 9 in time trial or in qualifying and 8 is better, better in the race. But even in the race I felt like 9 is faster for me. Especially for me. So yeah, that's why I'm driving with 9 and even I would drive 9 in the race. Yeah, but uh, that's, it for, that's it for the time trial video here in Baku. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like the video. Subscribe if you haven't. And see you guys next time.